we are talking about time lapses, specifically about doing a time lapse with your mobile phone. The good thing is time lapses are something everybody loves. They make your videos awesome. And the best thing is they're really easy to do with the smartphone. Time lapses are something that reduce a lot of time to a little bit of time. It's basically just speeding up time. When you're filming normally, say on 30 frames a second, what that means is that every second of reality, there's your camera's taking a photo, taking a photo, taking a photo, and it mashes that up as in 30 frames in a second. When we do time lapses, we reduce that number down to say one frame every second or even one frame every minute, or even one frame every half an hour if you're doing really, really extended time lapses. Many apps like on the iPhone have a standard time lapse frequency of the, the frames that they give you. And from my experience, it works perfectly whether it's for clouds moving, traffic going, beaches, wind, whatever. So you can kind of trust it. But if you wanna get like into the details of changing this, then you just need to remember one thing. Fast is fast, slow is slow. This means that if something is moving incredibly fast, like clouds and a hurricane wind coming over the mountain, then you can have a high frame rate, a fast frame rate to match that. But if something's going to be very slow, like a sunrise with the lights crossing over a mountain, then that might take half an hour. Then you can slow down the frame rate to say one frame every minute. Very simple, fast things, you keep high frame rates, slow things, you keep slower frame rates. If you're starting out, just trust the native setting on your phone. Time lapses are not hyperlapses. Keep the camera steady, still. Don't try and walk and move forward, that's a hyperlapse. For that, if you really wanna get those right, you're gonna need special gear like gimbals and things that keep the camera steady while you're moving. At this stage, your phone needs to be on one of those tripods. Keep it steady, keep it still. A last little tip for you, don't try and put too many time lapses into your videos. Just use a couple here and there to sort of make it exciting, a reason to go watch the video again. 